have been constant concerns about FEMA funding, but in the short term, the money will be there, thanks in part to Vermont Senators Bernie Sanders and Pat Leahy. They're part of the bipartisan group of lawmakers calling themselves the Hurricane Irene Coalition. Senator Sanders joins us live from our Vermont newsroom tonight, and thank you so much for being here, Senator. My pleasure. Congressional leaders have a short-term deal to keep money flowing at this point through FEMA. So what does that actually mean for us, spe specifically when it comes to highway money? Okay, what it is that on Thursday night, $2.65 billion was passed for FEMA. Uh, not as much as I wanted, but it will be enough to fully fund FEMA's needs until we believe mid-December. Uh, obviously, uh, we want to make sure that FEMA gets more money to take us into next year and receives the kind of substantial funding it needs to deal with not only Hurricane Irene, but a number of other disasters that have taken place around the country. Uh, in terms of roads, what we have to do is make sure now that the Department of Transportation gets the funding that it, it needs to deal with our federal and state highways. And that's going to be a very expensive proposition. Uh, the Appropriations Committee in the Senate, Senator Leahy, did a very good job, and it's got $1.9 billion. Uh, and that's a start. We'll probably need more. But we want to see that passed in a bipartisan way. So where we are right now is there is, as I understand it, more than enough money to deal with the individual assistance. If you lost your home, your home was damaged, there is money available for you right now. The concern is to make sure that we get money uh, for the state and federal highway system through the Department of Transportation. Senator, you have seen some of the damage firsthand. It is hard to see it. It must have affected you a great deal. Oh, it was, uh, it, it is, well, it's something you hope you'll never have to see again in your lifetime. I was down in, in the town of Willing, Wilmington, in Brattleboro. Wilmington's a beautiful, beautiful town. Their entire downtown, for all intents and purposes, was destroyed. Virtually every business in the downtown was flooded, uh, some completely destroyed, some going to need very heavy uh, repairs. I was at a uh, several trailer parks, one in Berlin, uh, the Western Trailer Park. Almost all of the mobile homes there uh, are never going to be used again. Uh, I was in uh, Waitsfield, downtown uh, near, the, near the river. Again, businesses there destroyed. I think what we can say in, in the midst of this disaster, what was extraordinarily impressive about our people is how stranger helped stranger, how people came together in a real sense of community. Uh, when I was down in Wilmington, in the southern part of the state, you had police officers from Chittenden County get going down there because they knew the stress and the exhaustion that the police officers in the southern part of the state were experiencing. So the state came together. Our job now for the delegation, and, and Senator Leahy, Congressman Welch, and I are working very hard on it, is to make sure we get all of the funds we need. And we're talking about perhaps, we don't know, a billion dollars worth of damage to rebuild our roads, to help small businesses, to help our homeowners uh, get back on their feet. Yeah, that is amazing damage. Okay, one more question for you, Senator. What concerns you most at this point about Vermont's recovery effort? Uh, my major concern is that right now in Washington, as I think many of the viewers know, there are some of my uh, right-wing Republican friends who think that we have to offset uh, disaster relief. That means that every time there's going to be a disaster, not just Hurricane Irene, but in the future, they want to have a great, a great budget debate about whether we cut health care or education or the Environmental Protection Agency. In my view, that is not what America is about. Historically, what we have always done is said when there is a disaster, we come together as a nation. That's what we did with Katrina. That's what we sh did with earthquakes in California. That's what a nation does. And this precedent about having to have a great debate about how we fund a particular disaster is to me not what America's about and a horrendous precedent. That's what concerns me the most. Okay. Senator Bernie Sanders tonight, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.